Daddy, aren't you going with me to the airport? A young lady owes her father the courtesy of a greeting before she asks. Aren't you going with me to the airport? Good evening. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's time to go and pick up my fiancé. You're too quick to call him your fiancé. My dear, how many times will I tell you that most of the young men nowadays are bums? Nick is not a bum. Hmm, it remains to be seen. Please. Just get to know him. That is what I'm just about to do. That is why I asked you to ask him to come and spend this leave with us so he can get to know us and we can get to meet the uh, young man who has stolen my only child's fancy. <laughs> He's a good man, Daddy. Mm. Mm -hmm. Drive carefully. You know the traffic on the airport road is very heavy. I will, Dad. Good. Congratulations. Hmm? You finally began to write your autobiography. Oh, <laughs> thank you. All right, see you later. Bye. Father is there, my father in law to be awaits me, take me in his arms. Man, I didn't feel like that when I got down in Lagos this afternoon. You know why? why? Even though Lagos is home, but he is home because this is where you are, this is where you can be found. Ah, you know, so damn, That's a okay. How far is the journey from here? About now, 30 minutes. Ah, 30 minutes. Damn, I can't wait. I can't wait too. You can't wait. What can you wait for? I can't wait to take my shower. Yeah, right. You lie. You. Oh, I'm not lying. <laughs> I can remember the last time was when you came to Canada during the vacation. I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you do. Mm -mm. You do. I don't. You do. I do. Liar. Liar. Swear. Swear. You swear first. Oh, you swear first. You. You swear first. You. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Fine. Who's gonna drive? All right. Me or you? You drive. Okay. Cool. Me. Thank you. What time is it? Um, oh, it's about 8. 8 p.m.? Yeah. Well, get dinner ready. Meanwhile, uh, let him um, clean up, but, uh, change of clothes. Generally, freshen up. You know, um, it's been a long haul for him. Yes. All right. See you at dinner then. Okay, my dear. All right. Bye-bye.
You know what? Let's eat. I don't think my father's going to come down for dinner. I've been up to him several times to call him and he keeps saying, give me five minutes. I'll join you in a second. All this while typing away at his computer. Nick, I'm so sorry. It's just that my father's been so preoccupied writing his autobiography. Hmm? It takes most of his time. It's alright. <clears throat> I understand. A thousand apologies, Mr. Nicholas. Oh, Daddy, you came down. How oh, very late am I? I am for dinner. I'm very honored to meet you, sir. I'm much more honored to be in your house. And that is a rehearsed speech, my boy. Come, give me a hug. Don't let our first meeting be so formal. Truth. Calvin Klein? Is that not the perfume you're wearing? Yes, sir. Well, how did you know? You don't know my father. He's such a genius. <laughs> well, let's have dinner without any further interruptions. Mmm, I smell lamb stew here. Mmm, I can taste it already. <laughs> I'm the last. No. I'm the last. No, I'm the last. I'm the last. <laughs> I, I, I've been thinking. Have you, like, felt afraid? You know, afraid to give your life to somebody else, you know, your very existence? No, I don't. Should I? No. Um, okay, well, wrong choice of word. Maybe I really mean to say... Um, it's uncertain. All right, uncertain. Have you felt uncertain about marriage? I think it has to do with the way you feel about the one you're with. I guess if you love someone, and the one loves you in return in the same measure. There's no need to feel uncertain. And how can you guarantee that that person loves you equally? Well, if you're in love, both of you should know. There's a difference between loving somebody and being in love with somebody. It's like saying, I love you, and saying, I'm in love with you. One is deeper than the other. Okay, so which one? Which one is deeper? Okay, well, what's, what's our case? Am I in love with you? Or do I love you? You're in love with me. <laughs> <laughs> you can marry me. Oh, yeah? mm -hmm. Okay. You want me to show you how much I'm in love with you? Eh? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh? <laughs> I love you. Shouldn't both of you be sleeping in separate bedrooms since you are not husband and wife yet? Oh, Nick. Um, <clears throat> can you take a break from uh, kissing my little daughter and come with me? This is the door to my room. And this is the door to your new room. Go and sleep. Good night, sir. Nicholas. Yes, sir. Mm. We are neighbors now. And I am a very light sleeper. <laughs> I can hear doors open and close even in my sleep. And I can hear silent footsteps. What I'm saying is, I don't want any of that. Good night. Good night, sir. Nicholas! 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 Sir! Sir! Nicholas! Shouldn't you be out of bed by now? It's up at 5 a.m. 
time for jogging. Uh, sir, I, I don't jog every morning. Really. What? Are you a woman? I have a headache already. Um, I'm still jet lag. Can I sleep a little longer, please? What nonsense! with water. You shouldn't drink so too much after exercising, otherwise it will grab you here. Yes, sir. Drink a little at a time. I got you, sir. Are you a horse? No, you sir. know how horses drink, don't you? Yes, sir. I have seen horses drink water. But I don't see anything undignifying about the way they drink it. You're not by any chance trying to argue with me, are you? No, sir. Hmm. Good. He was still sleeping, so I took off his shoes and tucked him in proper. Mother Hen, adjusting her very lazy fiancé, smothering him further into sleep, even though she knows it is 11 a.m. already. Daddy, Nick is not lazy. He's just tired and there's jet lag too. Ah, uh, and there's a little talk of me Taking him for a little jog this morning. Oh, this is uh, over pampered self. Cannot deal with a little exercise. Dad, you did what? 
You needed to rest after all that flying from yesterday and the day before. How could you? Mm, a love-struck girl. Where is her father? How could you? For the sake of a man, she doesn't know whether he will... He loves her and will marry her and take care of her the way her father does. Now that is foolish. I'm sorry, Daddy. I'll tell you what kind of man I want you to marry. A man with a soldier's heart. A strong man. A man who will love you, protect you, 100%. I want you to marry a man like your father. And where will I find such a man? Daddy, this is the third man you're rejecting. You're always looking for all your qualities in whoever will marry me. But that is not possible. Daddy, I'm in love with Nick. I know mommy died giving birth to me. And you had to raise me alone. Daddy, I'll be fine, okay? Besides, you can always check up on me and look in whenever I get married. When she gets married, I will be a lonely old man living in this big house all alone. Allow me to finish. I'm sorry, son. I want you to make sure that you take care of my baby. Love her. Protect her. Always, always be thinking of her. And if for any reason you don't love her anymore, now you bring her back to me. I can never not love Louisa, sir. I love her very much. Now you look into my eyes. Do you see the weariness? The loneliness? In an aging man who is about to lose his only child and companion to a man who, who I, 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 I don't even know what you are. A man who lives in Canada and says he loves her from there. If you ever hurt my little girl, I shall come after you. Tell me, <laughs> how 
how do you chase girls in Canada? Oh, come, come on. Man to man. No big deal. <laughs> I don't chase women, sir. Oh, come on. I don't. I've already found the one that I love. Well, let's go and play a double game with those people. small boy? You know I'm not a small boy. So why does he treat me like one? As if I'm a little boy. I'm a man. A grown man. I have my own house. I don't disrespect people like that when they come to my house. So why is he disrespecting me? What does he want from me? Nick, my father's just been overprotective. He's actually a pleasant person if you get to know him well. Well, if I get to know him well, is he giving me the chance? Is he giving me the chance to get to know him well? No, I don't think so. It seems like he's just out to regiment my life and my relationship with you. That's it. I don't understand it. Huh? I have a good job. Why did you invite me here in the first place if you didn't want to meet me? Young man, I've been listening to your voice. Is this how you speak so much when you're eating? It's a wonder that uh, Louisa can understand what you're saying with your mouth full. In polite company, you do not speak with your mouth full. My dear, why are you crying? You don't want me to tell him the truth? Look at it. Beef. Beef everywhere. You know what that means? It means that he's going to fill his arteries with cholesterol. And where will that leave you? He will die and make you a widow before your time. Is that what you want? Sweetie, please don't cry. It's okay. Please don't cry. My dear, wipe off your tears. There is no need for it. What is the meaning of what you're doing? Are you trying to say you can console her better than me? If you don't mind, I would like to console my daughter alone. Thank you. It's all right, sir. For Christ's sake, Nick, are you not a man? Is it everything he tells you that you say? Yes, sir, too. All right, sir, too. Come on. It's all right, my daughter. Encourage a total stranger to disobey me. Total stranger. <laughs> obey the little girl and, and disobey me. I'll be upstairs in my room. Absolutely nothing to worry about. You are young. You are intelligent. You are beautiful. Yes. Men must flock. You have all the combination. You have nothing to worry about. Eh? And you have a father who loves you very much. Don't worry.
Ты выясняешь. Луиза. Only came to kiss you. Mm. Mm. Oh, crazy! I haven't kissed you all day. Imagine us sneaking around this house like some innocent lovers. I know. <laughs> you all are like this. <laughs> we're engaged to be married for Christ's sake. I hope you're not going back to your room tonight. No, no. You gonna sleep with me? Yes. Ah, come here. Yeah, huh? <laughs> Since when did you start answering a question with another question? And uh, what are you dressed for? Nick and I are going shopping. Oh, shopping? Oh, whose money? Yours or his? Both. Mm. Ah, this is Nick. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Nick. Uh, did you uh, have a good night? Did you sleep well in your room? Um. <clears throat> well, y yes, I did, sir. Um, I had a good night. My night was just fine. All right, Daddy. We'll see you later, okay? Goodbye. Is this what you're wearing out with my daughter? You're going out in these clothes? With all respect, sir. Is there anything wrong with my clothes? It's not the clothes. It's the dressing. What is wrong with the good formal dressing? You are going out with a lady. You are going out with my daughter. A suit or a blazer will do just fine. Oh, come on, go and get rid of this. This uh, baggy rubbish and this T-shirt. You look most irresponsible. Look, nobody's changing any clothes. Goodbye, Dad. Let me go somewhere. Okay, this is. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Please come in. Thank you very much for the food. Uh -huh. Thank you. Uh -huh. 
Yes, it was. Hi, yes, sir. Hi. Ah. You're a little dizzy, right? Uh -huh. What are you looking at now? The <laughs> water? Yeah. Wow. Here we go. You dislike my father, don't you? Well, I can't say I blame you. He asked for it. I wouldn't say I dislike him. Dislike is not the word. It's more like frustrates. He just wants to frustrate me. And I think it's about time I move into a hotel. He won't like it. Hell, he won't like it. I know, because he wants me under his roof so that he sees what I do, what I eat, what I smell, how I do whatever, how I kiss you and all of that. That's all he wants. I really wish both of you could be friends. Well, he's not giving me the chance. It doesn't seem like he wants my friendship. Be great, sir, if it won't be a bother to you. It will give me great pleasure. <laughs> okay. Sure. Have a nice day, sir. Have a supreme day. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Bye. Bye. -bye. going on here? Is someone traveling? Nick is moving into a hotel. A hotel? Isn't he comfortable here? Well, sir, I think it's better I move into a hotel. A hotel? Oh, come, 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 my dear boy. Come, come, let me, let's have a chat and share a drink. My dear, um, get this case you see, my dear boy, maybe you think um, I don't want my daughter to get married. Or not to you in particular. Now let me assure you that nothing could be further from my mind. I mean, why would I want to think a thing like that? I mean, would I be the one to marry my own daughter? God forbid. You know, it is the deep father they love which makes me want to protect and guide her all the way. And the fact that uh, she's my only child. You know, <clears throat> I met a lady today. I have decided to take another wife uh, to keep me company uh, when um, Louisa gets married. Yes. I have decided to trust you a little, believing that you will take care of my daughter even better than I will. <laughs> She's still a child in my eyes. She's not a woman yet. She's still a child. You are welcome to spend your leave here. And then we will get to know you and you will get to know us. But 
I don't want any of that sex stuff until you are well and truly married. Am I clear? Don't be silent. Say yes, sir. Yes, 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 yes sir. Good. Cheers. a young girl's sexuality. Benita. Oh, I, I, I wish, I wish you were here. I wish you didn't leave us. If it's time for you to go, it's for me a time of bell when I don't see my baby.
Don't you know how nothing better to do than to start kissing everywhere, every time? That is my fiance. I don't want to hear that nonsense. I don't want to hear that nonsense in this house. You, Nicholas, go upstairs to your room and find something better to do with your time. Other than just kissing and kissing and kissing. My daughter is not a sport. Your daughter is not a sport. I don't treat her like one and she's not. And we all know that. So why are you being cynical? Is that what you want? Is that what you wanted to do? Cry all the time? Are you happy now? You feel good inside? What's all this? I'm a grown man. Look, if you are such a hard rock and you cannot love anymore, it doesn't mean some of us should it. And not that I'm afraid of you. Because I said you're free to marry my daughter doesn't mean you have to do everything in one day. Don't you have respect for this house? For me? For my daughter? Are you a ego? Are you a ego? Because in law, my daughter is not a she -go. so many times and I always kept quiet I, I swallowed it a man has to bark sometimes too you know I want you and daddy to be friends <laughs> you and daddy each other's not good at all I know and I promise it's not going to happen again I can promise you that and what if he keeps yelling at you I'm asking you, Nick. I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I suppose I will yell back. Or oh, I'll probably just leave this house. Nick, um, I have a headache. I've been crying my eyes out. I need some sleep. It's past 7 p.m. already. You should sleep too. We'll see you tomorrow, okay? Okay. Good night. I love you. The future holds another life. The future holds another feeling. We think this, we think that. We think here, we think there Oh, no one knows There's no sight We're still in love in the heart of the night Nick! Nick! So despite all my warnings Louisa still sneaked up here into your room Where is my daughter? I just woke up. She must be in her room, sir. Are you trying to tell me that you didn't speak again last night? Well, we did. I called her on the phone, only to tell her good night. And then I slept immediately afterwards. Ah. Louisa is not in her room. Neither is she anywhere to be found in this compound.
گذاشتا There's no cause for alarm yet. I am sure something must be delaying her. She will come back. It is that something that is delaying her that's got me worried. Now what on earth will be delaying her for over two hours? In all the years I have been Louisa's father, she has never gone out of this compound without first letting me know. Gentlemen, Sir. I am counting on you to fish out that young man. Then we will get the whereabouts of my daughter. Maybe both of them have, have, have decided to elope. Or else, how does one uh, uh, explain this extraordinary coincidence? That my daughter left this house 6 a.m. in the morning and up till now, she's not back. Wow. This evening, Nicholas vanished. But sir, do you have his phone number? So that I can give him a call and persuade him to come back since your daughter's phone is off. I don't have his phone number. I have never asked for it. Sir. At about what time do you think Nick left the house this evening? Uh, Abby? Sir? Uh, come, come, come. Here is the gate, man. Now, tell us, about uh, what time did um, Nicholas rush out of the house, according to you? Sir, he went out uh, at around uh, 5 p.m. I checked the time. Then I waited for one hour. When he did not come back, I alerted you. Now you've heard mm. it, gentlemen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the key to finding my daughter lies with finding him. We will, sir. Good. But you need to make a formal report and state me at the office that your daughter is missing. Yes, sir. I will do that very gladly. Um, go and bring the car key. Yes, sir. Worst thing is her phone has been off all day. It's been off all day. The minute we noticed she had disappeared, it's been off. I wasn't sure what to do next. I just couldn't sit there and watch her father not do anything. He just brewed hoping that she will return. She still hasn't returned. It's all right. According to you, she grew up in this town. It's difficult for her to get lost. I agree, sir. I understand that. But I'm very worried. I'm worried something will happen to her. And if something happens to her, I will die. Because I love her dearly. Please get your men. Yes, come in. Sir. There's a man here to report a case of a missing person. He called us while we were on patrol in his area. Another missing person? Yes, sir. Send him in. Yes. <clears throat> Nicholas. What are you doing here? You two know each other. This young man is heartbroken. His fiancée is missing. Sir, I had to let the police know. I had to come and alert them. 
that Louisa has been missing all day. I just couldn't sit there and watch you do nothing about it. My Louisa is missing. And I had to tell the police. If it's time for you to go, it's for me a time of day when I don't see my baby. my father get to you stopped? Nick, I am tired. I don't know where she is. If you don't know where she is, then where is she? Look, 
I should be resting, not going through all this. What kind of a society is this? And who, and who on earth will want to harm Louisa? Who? I, I'm just scared. Scared to think that there is something wrong with her. I don't even want to think that she's missing. Her. I mean, I don't, I don't get it. I will just wake up and see that all oh, this is just a dream. I can't believe Nick, let's go. Something I want to show you. I've been uh, writing this for a while. Uh, I don't know whether it makes any sense. I don't even know if it will ever get published. Why not? I mean, the title already is fantastic. Memoirs of an ex-soldier. I think it's perfect. Uh, I am tired of writing. I was only doing it to a while away the time. Uh, you know, <laughs> Nicholas, it is not easy to handle uh, retirement where you used to be busy all the time. Now you have so much time on your hands. May I? Would you allow me to take it to my room and read through? Of course. Of course. Yes. Yes. Read it while we are, while we are waiting for the police to give, to give us an idea as to the whereabouts of uh, Louisa. Yeah. Okay, sir. Um, I will give you feedback. Okay, sir. If it's time for you to go, it's for me a time of pain when I don't see my baby, oh, baby, oh, baby, oh. You're the one to go away. I'm the one to be alone, living with my baby, baby, baby. My heart isn't strong enough. I cannot bear the pain to see you go. Baby, what? I'm going to get. Yes, sir. Baby. Nick. Oh, hurry up. The DPO will be waiting. this hospital is known for. Do you think he will be admitted? Um, it's too early to tell now. But you see, whether he stays in hospital or goes home, one thing you surely need is lots and lots of rest. And you make sure he gets sick. Uh, thank you, Doctor. You're welcome. Auntie, please come back home. Things are getting out of hand. And with other Nick rushed to the hospital now, who knows what will happen next? Maybe your father, Louis, will faint his own. Auntie, you know how much your father loves you. And you know that if he happens to know that I'm the one helping you, I don't know what will be my fate.
dropped them in the middle of the expert. I waited until their aircraft took off before I left the airport. By now, they are well and truly on their way to Canada. Oh, thank God, sir. Thank God, sir. Baby? I've never mentioned this. I know the part you played in my daughter's self-disappearance. I shall have you dismissed. I shall have you locked up in the guard room and given 12 lashes every day for being so disloyal to me. But I will not do that. You want to know why? Because Luisa's plans worked. The disappearance brought Nick and I close. I got to know him and accept him as my future son-in-law. You may go to your post. Thank you, sir. Um, Eddie. Sir. I owe you a lot of thanks. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, soon they will get married. Begin to have their own children. Oh, and the voices of my grandchildren will fill this house and the whole place will become very warm again. <laughs> hey. It's time for you to go. It's for me a time of bell when I don't see my baby.